The NFL says they have no issue with players doing the signature dance of President-elect Donald Trump during their on-field celebrations. Players like Nick Bosa from the Niners, Raiders tight end Brock Bowers, and Titans receiver Calvin Ridley are just a few of the players that have mocked the President-elect's signature moves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't seen Donald Trump's signature move, even though he's the one doing it right there, right now, at UFC 309 at Madison Square Garden this past weekend, uh, one of, if not the greatest MMA fighter in history, John Bones Jones, did it after defeating Steve Miocic in the third round there with Trump sitting ringside. You saw it right there. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Here's why I'm pissed off. That the NFL had to even issue a statement about it. Because celebrations usually don't warrant that. It doesn't require a response from the league. So why was it necessary this time? You know why? Because we got a bunch of people still living with their heads in the cloud, acting like they get to protest every little damn thing. This is America. Donald Trump won the election rather convincingly, I might add. Now, I didn't vote for him, and I've been on the record stating that. I'm not backing up from that. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get tired of Stephen A. with his every time he mentions Trump. I didn't vote for him. Let me just be clear. I voted for Kamala. Come on, man. Get off the horse. We know that everybody know they got any kind of sense that Donald Trump was a better choice for America as a whole. There wasn't even one reason I could find a vote for Kamala Harris. And it's just my thought. Now, you may not think exactly what I think, but I know you know good well she didn't have a chance in winning. He said it even before the election. But about this Trump dance, is this a national dance craze? What's really going on out here? They are going crazy and they're actually mad. As a matter of fact, before this became a Trump dance, it was the sway. There was somebody swaying for 45 minutes when the thing happened in that rally a couple weeks back. And everybody was mad about that. And now it's a national dance. Let's see what else Stephen A got to say since he didn't vote for Trumpy. I didn't vote for him because I don't think he's presidential. I don't think his behavior, rather, is presidential. I think the presidency is a statesmanship position. I think it's important to galvanize folks and to bring them together, as opposed to contributing to divisiveness. But he won. And I have no problem accepting the fact that he won fair and square, in romp-like fashion, I might add. And he's worthy of being the president of the United States, according to the voters. They have spoken. They spoke emphatically, not just in red states, but in blue states as well, in battleground states as well. He won. There's no debate. There's no controversy. There's no anything. He won convincingly. So to me, that says that the American people have made their choice. I got news for you. Football players are usually American people. So are basketball players. So are UFC fighters. They got a right to support who the hell they want without the league needing to send in a response. I didn't see a response from the UFC, from the UFC. You know why? Because Dana, Wal Dana White wouldn't entertain it. Dana White would not entertain that because he don't play that nonsense. He's going to support who he's going to support. He's not going to apologize for it, as most American citizens should feel free to do. And why am I ticked off? Because it was emblematic of the climate that we've been living in for years now which is why I believe Donald Trump was really elected. Yeah, it was inflation. That was an issue. The economy, that was an issue. The border, that was an issue. But woke culture, cancel culture, oh, hell yes, that played a role. When well, you got people walking around wondering whether or not they're echoing the right pronoun, wondering whether or not that was going to cost them their job. Hey, yeah, that uh, pronoun stuff is serious. I was in a uh, clubhouse room. The other day actually no that wasn't even clubhouse that was fan base and i jumped on the stage you know it's like an audio app where you get to talk to people in different backgrounds religions beliefs etc and a lady was like hey chris welcome to the stage uh go ahead and introduce yourself and let everybody know your pronouns if you have them and i was like pronouns i've never been asked that before it's kind of a shock as a matter of fact another thing that happened to me the other day i went for one of my uh va appointments with the veterans affairs and on the application, on the paperwork, it said male, female, transgender male, transgender female. They had all these choices right on the application. 
So it's a lot of stuff happening here in uh, 2024, changing up the way that things go. And uh, we're going to see what else happens with this. What else Stephen A. got to say? Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. If you care. Or be in PC because God forbid your opinion is different than the average folk walking around in America. Lord knows what would happen to you. That's what America regressed to. And because of that, I believe is a big reason why Donald Trump on January 20th will be inaugurated as the 47th president of the United States of America. I'll continue with that opinion in just a second, but I wanted to move on to this right here. So we're going to stop it right there. What do you think about this? This guy here, uh, Stephen A., you know, a lot of times he makes sense on stuff, but in real life, a lot of times I realize that he's just saying what he needs to say to stay on the right side of uh, his supporters, his bosses, his handlers, because he works at ESPN. And, you know, they don't play that stuff. He makes the thing like, oh, I can say what I want to say. But, you know, you had to side with Kamala Harris or, you know, you probably will not have a job. Just like most of those entertainers, Cardi B and Glorilla and Megan Thee Stallion and everybody, you could be shut off. As a matter of fact, I made something, uh, I noticed something the other day, um, you know, like the big uproar with everybody talking about Kendrick Lamar or Lil Wayne doing the Super Bowl in New Orleans. I thought about it. I said, wow, I see why they didn't put Lil Wayne up there as the halftime show at the Super Bowl in New Orleans. It's because he sided with Trump. Did you forget about that? He sided with Donald J. Trump uh, back when he was president the first time. And so things like that, they don't forget. You basically get pushed out. I'm not going to say he's pushed out of everything, but certain opportunities you will not see if you're on the wrong side of what they think. So what do you think about this? Have you ever done the Trump dance? Leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to support this channel by going to futurecashflowclub.com. Get some free real estate training and things like that. Have to get your paperwork up. Make the paperwork for the paperwork. So I'm going to let you get back up out of here. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, TikTok, Clubhouse, and all the other sites at Chris Monroe STL. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. I don't know what you've been doing. You've been sleep. Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This how we do.